an issue. Yeah, can you see my screen? Yeah, I can able to see your screen. Okay, fine. I will just explain the course content. Okay, and from that you yeah. will get the idea what things we are covered. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. First, I in the first session we will do the introduction to the SAP system. What is the okay. SAP? Why we we are using the SAP? What are the competitor? What are the age line which are differ the SAP with the other system? Okay. Next, then we then we cover the ABAP basics. Here, what yeah. are the basic concept? Like you can say if else loop, for do and that all you can say. Programming control statement we are learn under ABAC basis. Okay, then data type okay. and data object for creating the data in the database. For that we are using the data type and data objects. Okay, you can say SAP as you know SAP ERP is a three SAP ERP is a three tier application system. Okay, yeah. First one is the application that's the user SAP GUI from where the yeah. end user are interacted. After that, there is the application server, and then third is the database. Application server are mostly built by using the ABAP only, and third is the database. Database uh, organization can select any type of the database like Oracle, or SQL, or MySQL. Okay, so as you know, you can select the any database for for the SAP. They are who they are having their own. Set of SQL. That's the open SQL. So we need to write the. You need to write all the da declaration, data declaration, command or data manipulation. You can say in the SAP only. And after that, we just and after that in the backend, SAP create the same thing in the relative related database both based on the open SQL only. Okay, that we will see in the deep like how to create the table, how to store data in the table, and all the stuff. Okay. After okay. that, we will see the common control statement and string operation. Strings operation, common control statement like if else, do while, for, and all this mm -hmm. thing. And a string operation like suppose just take the example of any string like my name is Prasad. So we can do different operation on the string like to find out the length of the string. And all the things are basic, but we can use that in the deep level of the programming. Okay, so first we will cover the all the basics, and then we will move to the advanced concept. Okay. And after okay. that, we are yeah, we are we are moved to the internal table and table join four hundred. Internal table, as I already explained you, it should be the three tier. Like so, we have the different database, and in our presentation application server, we have the different one. So for fetching the data from the database and use that in our application server, for that we are using the internal table concept. Okay, you can say it is just a temporary table where we just fetch the data. From the database, and based on that, we can do the manipulation of the data to display. In that manipulation, include display the data, or update the data, or delete the data. And after that, we can move that changes. To, we can reflect the same changes in the database also. Okay. And after that, table okay. join and for a entry that is just for fetching the record from the database. Okay. And after yeah. that, modularization technique. To you can say modularization to divide our program or ABAP code. In simple way, so that user can easily read, and which would also use to maintain the program properly. For that, we can use the different modularization techniques. Okay, and after that, classical okay. report. Like, uh, have you ever work on any Z transaction, like a Z report or anything, where you can just see the output? That is the example yeah, yeah. of classical report. Okay. So we okay. can see how we can develop the classical report, and sometimes you can see at the bottom there is some messages like uh, you can say material is not maintained or plot is not maintained or value is in negative, right? So we okay, can okay. yeah we can maintain that by using the message class. So we can see both in example like how to develop the classical report and how to build the message class and how to use that message class in the classical report. Okay, and after that logical database, it is just you can say type of the database which are created internally in the SAP, and by using that we can we can by using that logical database we can create the report and use in our all purposes. Okay, so in logical database we can see both the things like how to create the logical database and we also develop the report to use that logical database. Okay, this is just you can see this is just a syllabus. Okay, and next okay. we can see the interactive report. In interactive report, if you click on the main screen and then you can navigate to the deep screen, next screen. I think you might okay. be gone through some other server. That's come under interactive report. Okay, so there are totally three ways by which we can develop the interactive reports. Uh, so I will teach you all the three methods, and after that, ALV report. Like 
in the simple report we can just see the data and but alv it will also gives a advanced feature like we can do the sort of the data we can do the summation of the data and we can do the filtration also so that is the type of the alv so i will we will mostly focus on the alv because most of the time as a abapper the requirement is to develop the alv so for alv we minimally do five hello. to six assignment yeah harsh hello, hello. yeah 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 great great okay okay and next is the data dictionary like how we create the data 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 tables you can say simple in the tables in the abap so that it can reflect in the corresponding database okay so it is all comes as the data dictionary where we can see that how we create the table create the lock object once we created the lock object same transaction cannot be used by the multiple user at the same time okay structure is the one more concept of the abap views and search that all or the abap concept so we will see all of them mm -hmm. one by one okay then next one is the module mm -hmm. pool programming as you already work with the mm right so you comes under the mm01 tree code right anyway any time yeah yeah so mm01 t code is nothing but just a example of module create program. a material master yes you create okay, a material okay. master change the material master so that all are yeah. comes under the module programming okay so where we are see how okay. we develop the similar type of the screen or similar type of the program so for that we okay. can use the table control we can use the tab strip as you can see in the material master there are different tab like a purchasing tab sales tab sales organization tab right so we can yeah, see yeah. how to navigate between the different tabs and after that we also do the dml operation like example you just enter some data in the first pane then you just want to save that in the database okay so that we can use that in for the future reference okay next one is the mm -hmm. bdc bdc is mostly used to upload the data from the flat from the non sap system to the sap system it is just like uh, you can say interfaces just take the example of uh, you can say just you can just you are doing the new implementation okay and your old okay. system having the material master so that you need to uh, you need to add you need to take all that old material master in your new system so there are two ways first way what you can do you can do all manual work right like just to yeah. manually go and create it all the data but in the bits what we are doing we are just creating one recording okay in the recording all the screen that you are navigated now we can just ah. do the recording for all that screen and after that we just develop one report and after that we just take the previous data in one excel file and by using that excel file and, and our report we can upload all the data to the sap system okay as you are working mm -hmm. with the mm right so i mm -hmm. i prefer we will most of the time using the mm table only and mm transaction only okay so for the bdc we are using the material master okay okay and session method is also there means we can use the multiple you can, for the multiple decode we can use the session method okay and call transaction method using the files so that all three are the part of the bdc and lsmw is also the same but there is a little bit navigation in the screen and in the menu okay that's the purely sap things i will explain the way where we look to move towards there okay and okay. this next one is the smartphone uh, have you ever comes about purchase order me 21 yeah yeah, yeah sometimes yeah sometimes last print preview you are thinking that yes yes yeah so so to there are, and, uh, right right perfect there are two options smart form and adobe form we will create we will cover all the real time scenarios in the smart form and adobe form okay and next one is the uh, you, will be, uh, you will be covering both smart form or adobe form or both are same uh, no both are different see previously now when i taking the trip for my previous batches at that time we are covering the sap script and smart form but as sap script are totally obsolete no one using the sap script the student are actually demanding for the adobe form so for that purpose mm -hmm. we are removing the sap script and using the smart form adobe form we are covering both in deep okay because okay, as okay. a fresher they will ask you to develop just report data dictionary and adobe form and module pool programming okay and from there okay. from you in 19th all are the advanced concept they are not asking you as a fresher to work on that but it is always good to have the knowledge okay so we will also cover that also in the deep okay so okay. don't worry in that okay after that we are working with the bapi is a business application programming interfaces that is mainly used for between two you can say create the interface between the sap and non sap system okay right now i really okay. don't want to go deep in that and i don't want to confuse you so i'm just yeah. telling you in very shortly okay after that data okay. upload through the bapi bapi means you can say that is the standard way sap provided we just want to you can say use that to upload the data okay 
for that we uh, for that bapi we can also use the material master example okay by using that we can create one or two material by using the bapi directly okay 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 the general approach what you are doing just you need to go with the t code mm01 and just manually enter all the screen right in the bapi yeah, yeah. you need to do all that for the bapi you can just i'm just giving you the short we have one excel file where you have the all the record that you are manually enter in the mm01 after that we develop one report and in that report we just write a code to upload the data through the excel file we pass that excel okay. file data to the bapi and bapi internally create all the material okay that is the simple use of bapi okay like mm -hmm. inter, inter, next with the introduction to the enhancement program screen enhancement and window field example enhancement is what as sap provided few standard thing but user want to do some changes based on their custom requirement for for, for that enhancement is mostly used okay like uh, for example the screen enhancement have you ever come with the sales order va01 yeah we have created yeah there is a one additional tab b right so that is the example of the screen enhancement okay additional tab b have you ever seen at the header level or item level yeah header level and item level both level yeah in header level we can see the customer details yes in item level we can see the material details everything perfect perfect so there is one additional tab now that is the example of the screen enhancement so we can see how to do the screen enhancement all, all the stuff okay next to in the object oriented mm. concept where we are mostly created all the classes method polymorphism frame class and event okay and next one we are as i already explained you we are mostly focus on to create the elu report so there are two ways by using the function module and by using the oops method okay so i will explain you both next one is ali idoc have you ever heard about the idoc no i don't have ever Ah, no, okay, okay. Just to send the data from the ACP to non ACP or to the other system, we can use the IDOC also, okay? Next one is the function module uh, or RFC. Uh, um, one minute. I will explain that to you both, okay? Next one is the ODA. No, Have we ever heard about the ACP UIFI? Or no, Fury? I guess I think now latest. Yeah, Fury, we have started now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For the Fury, you can see that the screen now. For that, we need we need the O data services to transfer the data from the SAP to the Fury screen. Okay, so in that IBAPR job is to create the O data services and provided that to the Fury Fury developer so that they can implement they can consume their services. So I will explain you how to use that, how to create the O data services and consume that. Okay, and next one is the workflow. So I will just give the introduction of the workflow. Okay. And if possible, we will see one or two example of the work. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that is the basic. Thing. I think most of the things is consumed, but my only doubt is no. Mm -hmm. If I learn in this, I can able to write the coding in uh, Ababa and Hana. Yeah, you I can. Have, we have uh, Hana S4 Hana database now here. Yes, yes, you can do that in our company. Yeah, because the, there is the only I can okay. tell you there is the only one difference between the Ababa and Hana. Hana. That is just based on the your select query. Okay. There is a little bit modification in the select query. Mm. That's twenty. And if you write the ABAP code on Hana also, now that will work. Get my point? Okay, okay. So I suggest you personally, as a fresher, just yeah, try yeah. to first clear the ABAP concept, and then you can easily, easily shift to the Hana yeah. because all the things are there in Hana only. Only there is a different in just like a select query. Yeah. That's the major difference. No issues. Because yeah. uh, before I want to learn uh, UI, if I and ABAP and HANA, I want to complete ABAP. That's my aim now. Yeah, because ABAP and HANA is oh, oh, everything is same. Because I was also sometime working on the ABAP and HANA implementation project, where also we need to write the same thing. Everything is the same. But the only difference is that selection. Mm. That's it. Okay. Okay. Anything else you want to ask or you want to add that? That's fine. We can do that. To be frank, yeah, whatever your tales, I want to know because I don't know about that much. That not an issue. Not an issue. Mm. Sorry. No, whatever you are telling, only I know. I know about ABAP. Apart from that, I don't know. Okay, fine. Not an issue. Okay. And do you have working on Saturday or you have the holiday on Saturday, Sunday, both? only sunday holiday you tell me i can manage you tell me the time okay so that I can because manage. we can do one thing in the reg in weeks we can go with the regular flow but on the sunday we will stretch more so we can cover more things like a more practical session just i show you the one okay. slide for example this is the one yeah it is the, you guys, sorry how many sessions 
Totally. You can say all about to seven. You can say almost twenty seven, twenty eight sessions. Okay. Yeah, this is the one. You can say, for example, this is the if else statement example. So at mm -hmm. the end of the every session, there are few session tasks. So we need to create all the tasks. Okay. Okay. But you will be giving an examples, no, for each statement. Yeah, I will give you. I will. I will only show you that one. So mm -hmm. we need to cover that one, na. So for that, it it will. This you can see. For example, this is for internal table. So manually filling the internal table report to select the data from the single table. For that, we are mm -hmm. using the custom uh, company master T zero zero one. Then we can create the data from the report too. Or you can see this is the example of Mara only. Mara is the mm -hmm. material master, master table. Master yeah. Table. Yeah. Matter is the material. Year date is the date. So as you are from MM or SD, so we can take the example of that only. So it will help you more. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Anything else you want to ask?